Hello, my name is Stefan Kraus from Byte the Bytes, and welcome to the uh, next tutorial section, which will cover the uh, materials of the new World Creator version. Please be aware, this is an early access version. It's still under development, and it is the upcoming World Creator 2023 version, which will be available until mid-August 2023. Okay. So let's get started. I've created a, a basic terrain for now. So this is this is actually just initial terrain along with a uh, with a filter applied, the erosion by flows filters here. And I will now set up materials so we can see what you can do and how to use them, what kind of materials you have, how to use the distributions on them, and also the effects. Okay, so the materials can be found here under, under the materials tab. Each biome has a material. Materials can be grouped just as we did in the previous videos regarding the biomes. So you could create a folder, drop in the material in here and name them. Um, new materials can be added by the plus icon here. If you click on it, you can see you can add a color material, a gradient material, a substance material or a texture material. Um, for now, we're starting with a uh, color material, which is also the default material set uh, for the terrain if you start a new project. So the default uh, material has a white color. You can set the metalliness, the roughness, um, use shape layer colors, which are actually just used if you're if you're running, uh, if you're adding a shape layer, uh, which should be a, like, a, uh, like a stamp layer, but you also have a color map or a map tiler layer where it needs to be colored because you're streaming the color values from MapTiler directly, which are real-world data. Um, so just leave it, leave it on for now. It doesn't really matter for our um, things that we do right here. So the next one what we do, because we just leave uh, the basic color as white, we're going to add a new color and we give that color a more obvious color here. We choose red. And we're opening that color here and you will see that there are distributions. And if you open the distributions, you also see that distributions have effects. So basically the first distribution that is always applied is a biome distribution, which has this blend value here. So it's like, see it like, um, like a global distribution, which means it covers everything of the, of the mask that is going into the, uh, for, for, for coloring the terrain, okay? So, and that mask also has an effect. So basically this has a default distribution applied, which is always on um, because it, it's, it's like the root distribution. Now we're going to, to, uh, to, to change that by adding a new distribution. And if you click the plus button here for the distributions folder, you see that we have a bunch of distributions already available. So what are distributions? So distributions actually are just rules telling world creator um, where to apply the color on the terrain. So these distributions, these rules are used to mask out things. So for example, we can, we can use a flow distribution, which will um, mask out the flow where the water would flow um, following the hills down if we would have rain on the terrain. We have also other things like a mask, which, which means like a mask distribution is just like where you can import an image or directly use a mask layer here, um, where you can paint exactly the locations you want that color to be. So this gives you a little bit more design freedom at that, uh, at that, uh, at that point. You have a distribution like uh, roughness or slope or even height. So the many, many distributions available and you will see later that you also can combine those distributions. So for now, we just leave the flow distribution as is. And if you click the flow distribution here and open it again, you'll see that you also have effects just as described before. So the flow has like uh, every other, uh, uh, other distribution, the flow has, has some settings here. I'm not going to cover everything because this would just be too much for this short uh, tutorial about materials. We will have uh, in-depth tutorials after release, also really in-depth documentation about every single value, which you can access by clicking here on the I button, which will just open up um, the documentation, the online documentation for the flow settings, for the flow distribution. Okay, so we'll 
adjusting a little bit the rain strength so you we get a result like this and now we're going to change a little bit and, and adapt that flow using the effects so it's like every distribution has an effect or has a list of effects and effects are actually just to further manipulate the distribution typical effect would be like inverting it like inverting the flow would result in something like this um, another effect could be like doing a blur so if you're blurring that that means that you see that we're blurring the entire flow and giving us a little bit more creative freedom in designing our distributions that we are want to do here okay so those are effects the next one you could do is like you're adding another distribution and combine those two for example you could add another top root distribution let's choose cavity and let's choose convex so now you would say okay this seems to be like not really working properly but actually it does because the cavity and the flow there's a multiply here so the cavity is multiplied with the flow you would have to choose add to have both applied at a set at once so the flow would just to see for you we can disable them so that that would be the cavity only and that would be the flow only combine both would result in this another thing you could do is like um, you could also add sub distributions to an existing distribution that would be like the flow could have a sub distribution let's choose height and for height we're choosing a different level that you can see here so we're adding the flow uh, within a specific um, height height range that is from that point up to that point and with that you can further mask out an existing distribution so you can adapt it really the limitless possibilities to get exactly what you're looking for okay so that's actually all about the distributions and the effects um, later we we'll also add um, export buttons for photos distribution so you will be able to export uh, completely procedurally create a distribution and use that for further you know for further work on your own projects for now we're just going and going over to another to 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 another material type and we can do that to now let's just remove that one and add a new material we're adding the gradient material now and the gradient material well as the name says is used to create a material based on a gradient so I'm taking that picture here now to pick a color and to create my gradient I'm just going from that point over to that point you will see how the color will change but I can't do that on that screen so I have to move it aside and you can do so by selecting here pick and you also get the hint hold control to record colors with your mouse press R to reset click anywhere to finish so I'm pressing the control key and going a uh, little bit through that image that I've taken here so you can do that on your desktop you can do that from any other application just pick the color entirely on your windows and you get the um, gradient up, um, created here in work creator now that we've done that actually nothing much has changed because we have not chosen any any sort of distribution right now so what we could do in a very in a very 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 easy way is like the gradient type to select how to apply that gradient logically so we could choose something like dirt we could choose something like rock we could choose something like trees which doesn't really, really look fancy right now as as, as those are just pre-made presets from us um, just to give you a good idea about how how you could um, use a use a gradient very quickly depending on these typical things but you also can create your own custom gradients if you select custom then you might have recognized that there's now a custom gradient um, folder applying here which means these are custom gradient distributions so you could uh, for example let's add a let's add a um, yeah let's choose the flow again why not let's add a flow gradient here and if you zoom in you will see what's going to happen because the gradient starts with, um, let's see here, 
starts with uh, starts from the left to the right and it maps depending on the flow values. So if we enable the heat maps, which you can't see for the flow, then you should see that everywhere the flow actually is, the gradient is applied and you have um, also alpha values because the flow is not a discrete value, right? Um, um, then um, the alpha values are used as a mapping source for that gradient here that you're setting up, okay? So um, with that, you can use um, your custom distributions to set up a gradient along specific terrain features again, giving you really, really many, many possibilities to texture your terrain. So in this case, I've just used the flow. You could use anything, also combine them. Uh, you exactly have the same rules as you have in, uh, as we did with the, with the colors. So the heat map, let's turn it off for now and let's remove the gradient and let's add another one. Let's choose the texture here. So if you use a, text, uh, uh, a texture here, we can, we have support for five maps, albedo, normal, rough, ambient and displacement maps. So I'm opening the albedo, which opens up a file browser and I can choose a albedo texture here and Word Creator automatically imports all um, corresponding textures along with the albedo that I selected. Just to make it more uh, obvious to you, I'm increasing the tile size so you can see the texture a little bit better. And of course, you could do exactly the same things that I've done before. So you could use whatever you'd like to have as a distribution method to, to color and texture your terrain on top of it. The same approach would apply to a substance material. Um, just click here on Adobe Substance, choose the proper substance uh, map and you get the substance here. And of course, along with those textures uh, settings that you have that are typically like the tile size and the tile offset, you also have all the uh, substance uh, settings that are part of your substance material. As you can see here, there's a lot of things you can now switch on afterwards and uh, yeah, do something pretty nice with those textures to color your terrain. Okay, so as said, I'm not going to cover every single value here because this is something also that you might be uh, interested in interested in, t in, in, in trying out yourself, but we also have an online documentation soon available along with uh, further tutorial videos. So this is just a showcase video of giving you the idea how to use materials, how to apply them. Um, and yeah, one, one more thing, if, you're, if you want to delete materials, you can use the Del key or as I, as I showed previously, you can just drag it out to the viewport. This also works for the filters, dragging out, removes the filter, same for effects, textures, for the layers afterwards and for the biomes too. Okay, hope that helped for now. Um, if you purchase Word Creator, you will get access to the latest beta immediately too, so you can try it on your own. The release will be in about a month from now on. Um, yeah, stay safe, have a great day and bye-bye.